Hi, my name is Richard Crawford, host of the Supply and Demand Show, where we delve into the dynamic world of the global supply chain and we navigate through the complexities, disruptions, and innovations that shape this vital network of interconnected businesses. From sourcing raw materials to delivering finished products, we'll uncover the challenges that arise at each stage and explore the strategies for optimizing efficiency and sustainability. And each week, we will highlight a specific supply chain event. Now, each week, I'm joined by my co-host, Kareem Kafuri. But today's episode is just a little bit different because he's actually coming in, not from his office, um, but on location. Um, And Kareem, I will let you tell our audience exactly where you are at this point. Absolutely. So uh, I'm here at MIT in Cambridge, Massachusetts, for an event called Crossroads 2024. It is a ultimate sort of um, educational experience, if you want to say on the academic side, regarding AI and logistics and technology, specifically around sort of jobs, what the future is going to look like um, with regards to uh, the realm of AI. And there's going to be a lot of significant speakers here. There's going to be people from the logistics um, and transport arena. There's going to be people from Maersk here. There's going to be some authors here, some well-known people, which will be great. Obviously, an author that we like and talk a lot about, Mr. Yossi Sheffi, will be here speaking as well. So I've got the book. Hopefully, we can get a, a signature and shake hands as well, which will be great. And, um, you know, excited to be here in uh, Cambridge um, to see, you know, all there is to offer. And, uh, you know, just, just, just really thrilled to kind of be out of the office and seeing something a little bit different here. So kind now, of thrilled about it. Now, now, Kareem, just just so we're clear here, just because you're attending an event at MIT doesn't mean that you can put on your resume, attend at MIT. Well, first <laughs> and foremost, let's let's backtrack real quick. And I can say I can say that I'm actually an alumni of MIT. Oh, well, you are? because I actually did get my certificate in AI and business strategy from wow. MIT um, within the last, uh, within this past year. And so All basically, right. um, you know, I, I, it's it's kind of like I'm, I'm, I'm visiting home, visiting my home campus because I, right. I, 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 I take it back. That's quite, that's quite the accolade. I take it back. <laughs> no, but it, it, I mean, it's great to be here. I'll obviously be taking some neat uh, videos, taking a lot of notes, hopefully meeting some great people here that will be part of, um, you know, what we have to offer and kind of explain to our audience. But, uh, you know, again, excited to just be here in uh, in Cambridge, Massachusetts today to really learn about kind of the cutting edge from the leaders of this yeah. space. Uh, so you're, so you're, you're not quite you're not actually you're not actually speaking this week, are you? you you're just there totally in, in a capacity to absorb as much information as you can, right? Correct, correct. You know, sometimes you just got to go to where the information is and where the yeah. knowledge is. And honestly, cutting edge AI, you know, MIT is leading it. Um, the Center for Transportation and Logistics is the yeah. main group that's putting on this event, yeah. and um, it's going to be happening in the uh, Wong Auditorium up there. Yeah. In about uh, 10, 15 minutes, it's going to get started, and uh, Crossroads 2024. We'll see. Uh, we'll see well, what we're what we've got hey, in what, store here. So I'm kind of excited. Why don't you head up into that auditorium and give us give us a little view of what it looks like? Sure, I'll give you a quick look, and then I'll come right back down. Hold on, let me take a little walk up. Now I feel I feel nauseated. You walking around have have a little bit of a. Try to stable, stabilize that phone a little. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's quite. So it's actually, Kareem. It's quite an, an intimate setting, to be honest. I, I expected a, a much larger, larger auditorium, which is not a bad thing. So it's quite, um, yeah, it's quite I, intimate. I actually just passed. I actually just passed, Mr. Yoshi Sheppy. So I'm going to actually have to get my book and go get a signature now and uh i will catch up with you after the event is over okay all right buddy artificial intelligence you might call it it's basically and a lot of it is st- traditional statistics and operation research is based on well-defined algorithm and the output is predictable 
you have in the eye there are probabilities. Try to find what's likely to be the next word, the next solution, the next route. Derived from the training data, but not married to the training data. So traditional AI and best, um, best pattern recognition, while generative AI creates new patterns. Can create new patterns. Can create new patterns. And it looks at a bunch of historical records from other customers and tries to match you with those and basically tries to put you in a bucket. And, and, and that's honestly what a human loan officer would probably also do. Uh, just that these loans can do it at a much larger scale and in a more objective way, probably. This system can learn themselves and become better and better. There's availability of data. Data is more available in the first point. Because it's not collected and so, so I think in the first instance it will be like every most other technology, it will increase the uh, the gap. How will it work then later when we have some AI solutions in the next phase? What an amazing show. Oh my god, what what a great conference. I learned so much. The the information was just, you know, my mind is blown as far as uh, you know what the future is going to hold. I mean, they had pioneers and leaders from many different industries here, which was unbelievable. A great time here in Cambridge, Massachusetts at the MIT Crossroads 2024. Um, I'm excited about what 2025 has to offer. Uh, only wish you could have been here with me. You're going to have well, to come to the next one for sure. You know what, Kareem? Make sure you get all of those decks that were presented so I can read over them. And then I can say I attended MIT, but online. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Absolutely. But um, very excited uh, that I came. It was really well worth it and uh, excited to show you all some of the some of the footage and some of the information that I learned while I was here and uh, looking forward to you know, the next, the next event. So yep. we'll so see you next time. This was great. I like that we could do it on location. Ooh, that takes the show. Yes. That takes the show to a next level on location. Mr. Kareem Kafuri. Correct. Well, th Correct. Thanks Kareem for, for checking in with us and, and showing us all of that. Um, to our audience, please follow us on our social media pages on YouTube at the supply and demand show. Um, and on our, what is it, our radar? What, what's the best place? Uh, LinkedIn, our LinkedIn at the Supply and Demand. Correct. Um, Correct. All right, Kareem. Thanks, buddy. And thanks, everyone, for listening and watching. And we'll see you next time. See you, Ricky. See you soon. <laughs>